Hello and welcome everyone to episode 20, hope you're having a great day. I can't believe we've already hit 20 episodes, I say this basically every episode now, but it just goes so quick. And basically, getting into this episode, we did so many raids this week, I'm so addicted to raids, it's unbelievable. We did less clues, as most of you lot asked me for less clues. We did Slayer, and also we worked on going for base 90s as well, so I hope you all enjoy. And I'll see you at the end to wrap things up. I have no idea why I didn't do this earlier, but we just got the Infernal Axe clue. So it looks like we're going to make the Infernal Axe. Oh god, that does look nice. I should have done this so much sooner. But anyways, let's go and complete this master clue. And straight after that, follow the bard step, it is the casket. So let's see what is in this master clue. I do lose count of these because I do them so rarely. But let's see what's inside. And we get some alka balls, an ancient page, some soul runes, seven rune bars. And the very next kill, I get an elite. RNG, what is going on? 30 left, so I might as well just finish off the task. But that is so weird. I would love to know how rare that is. Have a hard and elite here, both from Abbey Demons, so hope for something good. And the hard, we get a Zami Quiff. And the Elite, oh my god. We get a Ranger Tunic. That is actually quite a healthy looking clue. And with that Elite clue, I also completed Zami Dehyde set. So let me go and put this in the house. Hopefully, I don't already have it. And we're about to be coming in with 89 Rune Crafting. Oh my god, one more until 90, and we can stop, but still 504k XP to go. I don't know if I'm going to do it all at ZMI or not, uh, probably do a bit of Bloods, and just a mixture of all three really. But other than that, 89 Runecrafting. Finally got another item, man. That's, oh my days, that, that looks sick. Oh, how much is it worth? 14.7 mil. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks. Let's go and get this out of the bank real quick and see what it looks like. That looks amazing. That's my second ancestral hat I've seen, I think. Anyways, let's see what we get. Oh, we get a Sarah Kite Shield and a Sarah Page 1. Not too bad at all. I will take that. Thank you very much. After so much time, I finally get another Aviancy's task. Looks like we're going straight back to Armadale. No, it probably isn't clip worthy, but I just made like 300 Slayer rings and 176 Dueling rings. I had like 10 of each, so I just thought, as I had nothing to do, I might as well make some jewellery. And I feel good about myself now. And if we don't get anything here, then we'll be the whole task dry. We just get some range pots. Yep, we are, I think, three tasks dry now, which is basically the drop rate for a drop. But I can't complain. Let's see if we can get the back to back. I am doing some raids tonight, so let's see if we can stag an item maybe. But other than that, that's about it. I will be back if we get the back to back. And the next task will be. 10 black dragons, okay. I don't know when I missed it, but I just literally logged in and um, just started to make some dart tips and just realized I'm 989 smithing. I don't know when I got that and I still have my bank pen. But yeah, 89 smithing. So we just completed our 100th raid. It was a trio and it was 33 minutes. It was actually my fastest trio, I think. So that's not so bad at all. The loot we get is salt pea and a wolf weed, which isn't the best, but I will deal with that. 100 raids and we have two items. I'm not going to complain. At least we got an item. I thought we'd just go like the first 100 dry, to be honest. But I've been teaching people as well, and that's been going quite well too. And this is going to be the last step for sure. Let's just open it up and we get a heraldic shield and junk basically. I do like the alcohol though. 
Hey, just got a jad task. Let's go and get a fire cape. That was incredibly straightforward. Thank you for that, Jad. Got a new personal best, 30 kill count, and we did not get the perk. Let's exchange the cape very quickly, like we always do. And we're not lucky. Let's go and get a new task. Anyway, as I was saying, I come to think about it, I actually haven't kept you guys up to date on my skills recently. So, I am currently 218k off 90 room crafting. I still haven't made the planks, but I have 10k mahoganies and like almost 40k mahogany logs. So, nightly construction will be a breeze. I am 500k from 90 smithing, which I have like 22k gold or banked. And if I need more, then I'll just buy it. That's really not a problem. And then lastly, we will do fire making to 90, which will be really fast, but I'm just going to hate the grind. I just, yeah, Winnetot isn't the most fun thing for me to do. But that is my skills at the moment. I am continuing mining as I have nothing AFK left to do. And like two kills after I record that clip, we're coming in with a dragon plate scout. Quite unexpected. And right after the wyvern task, we end up getting another jet task. So we will be going for a fire cape very shortly. Come on, tank it, I'm out run. Good luck. Ooh, 37 37 though. It's not a bad time at all. For 1.7k rune arrows and 119 to wolfweed. Huh. Alright, good luck, man. Oh, five boss raid. Thirty k points, two hundred and seventeen emeralds, and ninety three cadentines. <laughs> Thank you for that fire cape, Jad. I will take it. Two seconds less than the one I did earlier. That's quite funny. And let's see if we can gamble the cape. Yes. We're not lucky. I'm not surprised. There hasn't been many clue clips in this video at all. At least I don't think I've done many clues in the past seven days. But we have another clue here, so I hope we get something good. Oh my god. Moving on. Towards the beginning of the task, we're picking up an Abyssal Whip. That's nice. Maybe we could pick up another one. But nah, seriously. One Abyssal Whip per task is amazing for me. So if I get any more, that is incredible. So 173 to go. Let's see if we can get another one. Okay, we're getting solid hits then. Then I hit a zero. Double zero. And it's down. For the totem piece, the Abbey Head, Canantine and Chaos Rooms. I'll take it. Just in case we get anything from this superior. Like a whip. Or an elite. Or maybe the eternal gem. That I hunger for. And we get an Addy bar. Turtle top and abyssal head. Not too bad. Every time I see this task a smile comes to my face. And also dread because I know it's not going to be the last one. But. Here we have 206 ABNCs, I think that's the exact amount I got last time. But anyways, we are going to do those probably tomorrow as I don't have the chins now. So we'll either be raiding or skilling for the rest of the day. Can we redeem ourselves from that last clue? Uh, it's double. Uh, no, we haven't really redeemed ourselves at all to be honest. Kind of a crap clue. What is this task? Another shield left half from Abbey Demons. I think this is, I think I got, I left half on my last task as well, along with a superior. So that's just really strange. But I think that's now 15 shield left halves, not including my dragon square shield as well. So they're getting stacked up quite nicely. I actually forgot to record this raid. We actually did another one after, but my man Hyron got an Eldermo last raid. 
and that is the actual rare that I wanted considered I don't have a rigor and twisted bow wouldn't be that useful but still that is my first rare that I have actually seen in raids so that is amazing to see and hopefully we can see a lot more very soon and if you made it this far you made it to the end of the episode and as you see there has been a lot of variety throughout this episode not too many clue clips as I had quite a few people tell me that there was too many clue clips in the video and also I want to apologize for it to be short because I've just been doing so many raids I've been addicted to raids and I just can't stop raiding it takes up so much time there aren't that many clips and I also forget to record most of the items that my teammates get just because I actually generally forget that I record during that moment and then it's past the moment and I just think what's the point in recording it if it's not in the moment but an Elden Mole was an exception so grats to Hiram once again and also we got up to quite a lot in this episode we have an Armadale task waiting for next episode which I'm looking forward to which I'm going to do tomorrow also Fossil Island's out tomorrow which is just going to be amazing I want to see what the lava flow mines like I want to see seaweed farming there's loads of stuff that's coming out tomorrow that I want to have a look around and see if anything's good and in this episode we got up to quite a lot of slayer skilling and also I gave you guys a little update on my skills and that's where I'm at at the moment so if you enjoyed then leave a like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one thanks for watching